hi guys in this lecture I'm going to teach you how to add the font directly into your file or in other words uh, in the previous lecture I have teach you how to add the font uh, by downloading the file and then place the file in the folders and then you can add that file but now I'm going to teach you how to directly add the link of the font on the internet into your web page so now here I'm going to select the font from the browser here you have to write Google fonts then you can use the Google fonts API my internet is little slow so now here Google fonts and now so now here are the many fonts like this is Open Sans and the Roboto and all these Lato and the Slabo and the Roboto. So what you need to do if you want to uh, pick any font then click on the quick use or you can pop out it or uh, see all styles if you want to see all styles click on see all styles so here you can see its styles here is bold 600 600 italic here I'm gonna zoom in and now here you can see the different styles of this font and if you click this then it will automatically into its previous shape and if you want to use this style what you need to do you can click this quick use option or you can search the font here I'm gonna search cabin sketch it is awesome font click on and here is the cabin sketch font and to use this font you have to click on quick use but here you can also select the categories sense, sensor, if display, handwriting and all the things and here you can set the thickness of the font here you can vary it then it will search then slant and the width and the script what is the script and all these things but here I'm gonna click on quick use and then here is the screen so now first of all here are the things here are the text if you apply want to apply the bold 700 style so the text will look like this but if you want to apply the normal 400 then it will look like this so these are the things so here I'm gonna click on this style so it will give the link at this site here you can copy this link what is this link let's look at it and here paste it here because it is the link text here is the link tag you already know this tag and then here is the hyper reference and it contain a link to the font fonts dot google api and family font cabin and then relate to the style sheet and type is equal to text css in this way now you can apply this font onto this text by writing the font family cabin sketch here I'm gonna give it some styles background is red and the color is white hash FFF so now let's look at it so here is the text and now I'm going to apply some padding on it 20 pixel I think it's okay and here I'm going to zoom this screen so now here you can see that it is uh, it is not a good font it is not awesome so now I'm going to apply another font here font family font family and then include the cabin sketch font here is the cabin sketch and let's look at it here you can see that the font is changed so this is the cabin sketch form in this way you can also add the fonts and the next thing is that I want to tell you you can also add the font by using the add import 
this is the add import link and you can also add it copy this link and where to paste it this link is paste inside the style.css here is the style.css it contains the add and import import is used to import or connect this link and then here is the url in the parentheses so in this way here you can also apply this font on the div here i'm going to remove this from here and then apply in this here mm, font family the add import this link is used when we are using the external style sheet here we can give cabin sketch and let's look at it so it will it applying on this text and you can also uh, search another fonts here i'm gonna remove this so it will show the default fonts you can also use this label here Let's click on this label so now it is showing their style it has only one style normal 400 it will look like this so in this way you can use link of the font into your style sheet into your html page so i hope you understand my lecture if you have any problems so kindly add the discussion on udemy i will help you as much as i can Thank you for watching this video.